Meteorologist Quayla Murphy is here. We're in first alert mode. We've been watching Ida move after it made landfall and hit New Orleans and Mississippi. And, and now we're going to get some of Ida. We are going to get some of Ida. Circulation is going to impact us today. There's a cold frontal boundary moving closer as well. So those two will work together along with some moisture to bring us scattered rain and storms into the afternoon. Really some low to moderate rain, uh, rainfall around Pennsylvania to this morning. Also into West Virginia. That rainfall a little bit heavier as it starts to approach areas like Philly this morning. There's a circulation of the center uh, over parts of eastern Kentucky, West Virginia as well. We're starting to see that circulation pull our way and some clouds, of course, building over us this morning, but we're still dry as we kick off this Wednesday. That will start to change later on this morning, more so into the afternoon. We have a risk for severe storms today, level two of five risk for damaging winds and isolated tornadoes. So we're going to stay weather aware throughout the day. Your rain chance is low through the morning, but as you start to get into lunchtime today, scattered showers and storms do increase and we'll keep that going right on into evening and tonight. I think by midnight, though, we're wrapping up the showers and storms. So here's your first alert predictor forecast model through 10 o'clock. Spotty showers out there for some of you commuting through mid to late morning. By lunchtime, we'll see more scattered rain and storms. So when we see back, you back here for ABC 11 Eyewitness News at noon, we'll have some rain and storms on the radar at this time. We'll be monitoring closely and then we'll have that chance for storms to continue through tonight. This is 10 o'clock. The frontal boundary is by this time making its way into the area. This will keep pushing off to the east. So we're going to see drier conditions into early Thursday morning as the front moves through and that will also send in some much drier air, less humid air too, and also sunshine back with lower temperatures. It's all good news for tomorrow. Rain totals about an inch or less. Some spots will see some isolated higher totals with those heavier downpours. That's something we'll monitor throughout the day as well, but this will not be uh, a flooding concern for us overall. Here's the front by Thursday morning. Well offshore behind that low humidity starts to drop in. You'll need the sunglasses tomorrow, even a light jacket potentially tomorrow morning. Right now, temperatures are in the middle and upper 70s out the door 78 in Fayetteville also at the airport a little breezy too. the winds will kick up throughout the day 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts to near 30 miles per hour at times today temperatures not as high will be around the middle 80s so that's a break we catch today but feels like temperatures still in the 90s through the afternoon hours scattered rain and storms right through five six o'clock and then once again overnight things start to change temperatures dropping off Thursday your high temperatures upper 70s to around 80 82 Friday really nice push into the weekend Sunday we're back to the upper 80s Labor Day highs around 90 degrees, so a tad bit above average. Not too much happening around Central America. Low chance for development on that disturbance. Looking out towards the uh, African coast, I told you about Tropical Depression 12. Hurricane Center now updating that to a tropical storm. We now have Larry south of the Cabo Verde Islands. That escalated quickly, right? Kate is still in the open waters. No threat to land, but let's track Larry because this one will continue over in the open waters. No concern to land, but it's going to really get juiced up pretty quickly. So category one hurricane by tomorrow, cat two into Friday, category three into Saturday as it continues over the central Atlantic. This is right through Monday. So of course, this is one we'll continue to monitor right now. More of that showcasing of that tracking to the central Atlantic waters, but lots to watch on that disturbance. 85 degrees today, scattered rain and storms. We do have an isolated severe risk with breezy conditions throughout the day. We'll have scattered evening storms. Most of that wrapping up before midnight skies turning partly cloudy overnight. Mid 60s taking us right into Thursday morning. It's going to be so nice. Windows open weather tomorrow. Maybe riding with the top down tomorrow afternoon. 81 degrees, upper 50s, low 60s into Friday morning. Low 80s for high temperatures. Beautiful finish to the week. This weekend looks good. If you're ready for the heat again, it comes back Labor Day and Tuesday of next week. We're at 93. That's your first alert forecast.